Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seed at 707 Union Avenue in Brielle. Everything you need for trolling and jigging inshore and mid-range pelagics like bonito, false albacore, Spanish mackerel, mahi, and school bluefin. I'm Jim Hutchinson with the New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine with our September 7th through 11th forecast standing outside the Stafford Township Municipal Building here where of course on Thursday, if you're watching this video on Thursday, 4 o'clock, the New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council will be meeting right inside here. And I know a lot of angry anglers uh, looking to voice their displeasure. Now, if you're watching this video after Thursday, I would advise you to go back to the Fisherman Magazine's website, thefisherman.com. We'll let you know what's going on. But again, New Jersey Marine Fisheries Council meets Thursday, 4 o'clock, here at the Stafford Township Municipal Building in Manahawkin. And of course, the problem for New Jersey anglers is since Labor Day weekend, both black sea bass and summer flounder fluke have closed. So the question is, what do you fish for? Probably not tuna, although it's not that bad, but I know everybody's eyes right now are uh, on Hurricane Irma. Our prayers are with the folks in the islands and along the Florida coast especially. Uh, this is a monster storm, folks, and we will continue to keep our eyes on this as it moves up the coast and starts heading in our direction. Um, but it certainly had a little bit of an impact uh, along the offshore waters. Certainly not uh, terrible just yet. Four to sevens, four to eights. In fact, a little bit of three to sixes sometime in a window between now and Sunday. Sporty, but uh, certainly uh, a lot of people I don't think are going to be thinking about heading offshore with Irma bearing down on us. So for the weekend ahead, I'm sure it's with sunny skies throughout most of the state, most of our region, it's going to be looking for some of those inshore opportunities. And I will tell you that striped bass do seem to be coming alive a little bit more. So we definitely need that. In fact, over the weekend, one of the uh, flukers up on the Raritan Bay taking advantage of those final days caught a pretty hefty striped bass. In fact, I talked to the crew from Rachel Rose Charters out of Jersey City. They've been hitting some striped bass all summer long. They released a 47 and a half inch fish uh, over the weekend that was caught on uh, live eel. So it's good to see some of that live eeling going on. I know if you go a little farther south here, talking to Violet at Chestnut Neck Boatyard, a lot of folks have been up the uh, Mullica River eel and trying to get some of those early stripers. Uh, as a matter of fact, Captain Dave at Absecon Bay Sportsman's Center, he had the first keeper of the 20, 2017 season for his charter, Richard Mattia. Had a 10 pounder just the other day. Dave said the bite was uh, pretty good at night. And as soon as that sun came up, things got quiet. Of course, there's plenty of bait in the back. Lots of peanuts looking for some of those schools of mullet, but the night bite with all that bait in the back is working pretty well. As a matter of fact, I sneaked out to the north end of LBI just a couple of weeks ago with uh, Danny D. Pasquale from Fisherman's Headquarters and James Bonanno of Harry's Outdoors. A little bit of light tackle stripers. Uh, speaking of light tackles, over at the wonderful world of weak fish, Frank Rosinski has been putting the boots to some of those spike weak fish down in South Jersey. Uh, good things to report there. Uh, you don't have to work for them at, at night either. If we check in with the Staten Island tuna guys, Guy Buono especially, catching some of those weak fish up there in North Jersey under sunny skies. They've been using some of the Kettle Creek swim shats. So the weak fish bite, you would think that they're uh, jumping all over those peanut bunkers, so that's a good sign. As far as the for hire sector, as far as getting into the party boats and the charter boats uh, along the coast, central North Jersey, you're looking at getting out to some of the ridges and lumps, the Bonita, false albacore, some small bluefish on those lumps and ridges. Of course, a lot of the central North Jersey fleet, they're going to be focusing on porgies. That's what we've got. So loading up on some of those porgies and uh, in relatively shallow water as well. Don't forget, New Jersey, you've got a one blackfish limit right now and they are inside, they're close. The central and south Jersey rock piles. If you're working those jetty rocks with uh, green crab or you're even working with clam, uh, light tackle, it's a lot of catch and release fishing, but you're only gunning for that one single keeper blackfish. So that's a good sign. Tony Maja tells me he's gotten a couple of double digit bluefish in the back of his house. That's in the back of Barnegat Bay. He's been throwing a killie around the back. So it's a good sign of some of those big critters that are swimming around the back. You would hope some big striped bass and some big bluefish are on the bait in the back 
So you definitely have an opportunity to start hunting around and looking for some of those fish along the sod banks and along those channel edges as well. Of course, farther south of here, down in the land of milk and honey and open black sea bass and flounder. Yes, I'm talking about fluke in Delaware. The season continues. They've also got some sheep's head swimming around the structure as well. 9.31 pounds for Kevin Brownlee out of Lewis Harbor Marina just the other day. He was fishing the outer wall with sand crabs. So, the summary is we'll just have to make do. We'll have to make the best of it for the next several weeks. Whatever happens out of this meeting on Thursday, if you don't get a chance to get here, stay tuned to thefisherman.com. We'll let you know what's happening. Keep your eye on that weather system, of course. Uh, we are Looks like we're entering into a very active hurricane season, so you want to stay tuned and keep an eye on the weather. There's even another system behind Irma, so it's a little bit frightening. For a full list of all the activities in the New Jersey, Delaware region, club meetings, club activities, and of course fishing tournaments, pick up the September edition of the Fisherman Magazine. It's in your tackle shop, it's in newsstands now, it's got everything you need going on throughout the region. Until next week, catch them up my friends, and we'll see you here again at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DV Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200 in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.